Hey, Summerhill Cinema 700 here with a review on the uh, 1977 film by Toby Hooper, Eaten Alive. Now, I believe this came out in 1977, but some of some stuff online says 1976, so I don't know if it was filmed in 76 and came out in 77, but from what I know, it's the film's from 1977. It was the release date of this film, Eaten Alive. So let's just get right into um, it here. I'd never seen this movie before, and... Um, I was really interested in checking it out for a while. I had seen the art back, the artwork uh, way back when, and uh, always thought it looked really cool, but never got to see the film. And when I found out that, that uh, this was indeed on Blu-ray, I went forward and picked that up uh, as part of the Arrow video sale that I mentioned in my uh, video that a few videos ago that I did. Now let's just get right into this movie. Um, it's basically about this guy who runs this hotel, and he has this pet alligator, uh, and he feeds the hotel guests to it. Um, now, at the start of this movie, we go to this um, whorehouse where there's this woman working, obviously, as one of the um, sex workers in this place. And there's a guy, um, his name's Buck, Hillbilly Buck or something. And, um, you know, this is like a small um, town in, like, deep s southern, like, Texas or something. Um, or Florida, I'm assuming, maybe, too. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, right? But we're in this whorehouse and this woman uh, this guy basically pays for her to have sex but she doesn't she's not interested she doesn't want to um he kind of pushes her around and whatnot and then this lady comes in and is like all right whatever you got to get out of here honey he's like she's like you came here to work uh as a hooker or whatever and you're not willing to do it then you better hit the road so she basically kicks this lady that runs the whorehouse she's a really creepy looking lady she kicks um this young girl out of the whorehouse basically tells her you know she's no good because she doesn't want to have sex with the people so she ends up uh, leaving, um, and then there's this nice lady who works at the hotel um, who gives her some money and tells her, you know, there's a hotel down the road that you can stay at. So this lady basically walks down to the hotel through, like, this freaky-looking forest and ends up at this hotel. And it's this guy's crazy guy's ho nut jobs hotel. Um, so she goes there, and, you know, the guy's really weird. She's checking in at the place, um, and he just has kind of, like, a creepy look in his eyes. Really weird the way he talks. And he basically uh, just takes her up, gives her her room key, takes her upstairs, and she's like, oh, wait a second, you're one of them girls from down at that whorehouse, whatever it's called, I can't remember. Um, and then uh, he basically attacks her, uh, throws her down the stairs. It's really disturbing. He beats the hell out of her. And then, um, basically, how does how does the alligator get her? Um, he slashes her up with big... Um, sickle this big thing giant sickle thing cuts her to, to hell with that and then uh throws her in the water and the alligator gets her so it's really crazy and then uh shortly after that happens um we, get, we see this buck character he's coming by and checking on him apparently i don't know what he does exactly he comes by and collects money for something or something it's kind of weird buck sh billy buck shows up every once in a while and just the old guy doesn't like uh billy buck so it kind of just yells, get out of here, you get going, get out, get her, like that, you know, in the southern accent. So basically she ends up uh, obviously getting eaten by the alligator, you can't really survive that. Um, and if you did, it would be very painful. <laughs> Back to the story though, um, shortly after another family, uh, not another family, the first family arrives at the hotel. Um, it's a husband and wife and uh, their young daughter and their dog, and shortly after they get there, the dog runs down and gets eaten by the alligator, and the guy's like, oh, get inside so you're safe, or whatnot, and he leads him into this, the hotel. So the poor fucking dog lasted, like, you know, less than five minutes at this hotel and just gets eaten by the alligator, probably just like a little little chomp, little, like, protein bar for the alligator, right, little dog, nice yum chomp. And anyways, um, so the family gets uh, settled in there. Obviously, they're a little bit shaken up that their dog just got eaten by an alligator at a fucking hotel. But um, especially the younger daughter, who's probably like four or five years old, she's just freaking out and panicking, right? And it uh, sounds like they've had a pretty stressful... They're on like some road trip, and they're like going through this like traumatic stuff. The dad's acting really weird, too. And um, a little uh, shortly after they arrive, you know, this is after the dog gets uh, eaten as a snack, um... The dad goes downstairs, um, I think, to get, like, the luggage or whatever. And he ends up getting hacked up by the sickle and then thrown in the water and eaten by the alligator. I think when he gets him, the alligator actually jumps up. It's kind of like there's this porch outside, and right um, beneath the porch is the swampy water where the alligator is. So the alligator actually, like, I believe it's this one, comes right up and just chomps and just pulls him in. It's really freaky. It's cool. Um, and that's the end of him. Um, ends up going upstairs. I think I'm telling this in pretty... Uh, in the 
proper order because, you know, this movie doesn't take a place in a ton of locations. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But it's, it's, there's only a couple of locations that this movie takes place in. So um, he ends up dying. And, um, and then uh, the lady, the wife, gets like, she's taking a bath or something and she gets beaten up. The daughter sees that and uh, she ends up getting tied. He just ties her to the bed. Um, now, a little, uh, I don't know if this was before that happened or after, but um, this other man shows up at the hotel and he's looking for her daughter, his daughter, and um, saying that, uh, you know, have you seen her? She's been missing and it ends up that it's the, uh, the um, sex worker woman from the start of the movie who was killed. Um, that's his daughter and uh, he's with another one of his daughters who is the woman who was murders, murdered uh, sister. So it's the, her, the, the lady who was murdered at the start of the film, her father and sister are looking for her, right? So they go to, and he says, oh no, I haven't seen her, right? So she ends up going to the police uh, with her dad, and they basically get involved. They have suspicion that this guy at the hotel is a little weird and whatnot, so the police kind of look into it, and um, they kind of have an investigation. Um, now, while the mother's tied to the bed, the little girl ends up um, seeing this all happening, and she freaks out and runs downstairs and um, basically runs outside. Crazy guy with the sickles trying to cut her up and she ends up hiding under the porch and then like almost like half the movie she's like hiding under this porch and there's like rats down there she sees the alligator and, and she's absolutely terrified and petrified she's just screaming and freaking out you feel really bad for her um it, to be honest it almost gets annoying how much she screams but you do feel bad for her um so she's hiding under the porch meanwhile while she's hiding under there people keep coming um the the father of the daughter who was murdered at the start comes back and he's kind of looking around and he's kind of and he hears this like screaming like mommy mommy ends up going um down hearing the voice and um then crazy guy of sickle runs out and it's this really cool scene it's like he just runs out and it almost like he comes in slow motion with the sickle like this and then just starts hacking the guy but actually he chops him right in the neck and it goes like halfway through his neck it's really gory and then he's just shaking the sickle to try to get it out and the guy um, with the sickle, he's just kind of, he panics if it doesn't go right because he sticks it in the guy's neck and the guy is still like walking and the, the guy is like, hoo, hoo, he's kind of freaking out and stepping back like he's totally mentally deranged, right? Ends up uh, getting thrown in the water and just eating the bits. Um, now at some point, and oh, I don't know if I'm telling all this, you know, in perfect order, but you're getting an idea of what the film's about. The hillbilly buck guy shows up. Um, with his uh, like girlfriend, they're at this bar partying. Um, they have the scene at the bar where they're partying and whatnot. There's a bar down in the bayou, and um, they go back to his place basically to find a room to have sex in. They're doing their thing, and they're, then they start to hear screams. So Hillbilly Buck Boy goes down downstairs and also hears these weird voices and whatnot. And then he ends up uh, getting eaten by the alligator. He goes down and he falls into the water. Or no, sorry. Um, crazy guy with a sickle comes down and hacks him up a little bit and throws him in the water and he's trying to get out or no sorry he doesn't get hacked up he's just looking in the water and crazy guy with a sickle pushes him in the water and um then he ends up getting eaten by the alligator dragged off into the water uh his girlfriend i believe ends up dying as well and then like the only one left there at the end i think is like the little girl and then the um the the woman who was killed at the start of the movie's sister so you know now her dad and sister are dead. She's just there. And um, she um, she has a nude scene. She has nice tits. But uh, there is a, a, a fair amount of nudity in this film. You see a lot of um, uh, boobs in this film. So, But uh, getting back to who survives, and that's always great, you know. But getting back to who survives at near the end, it's the little girl and um, the woman of nice tits now. She ends up, um, does she end up living? I can't remember exactly. Now, my mind's kind of blank now that we go to the end, but basically what ends up happening is crazy guy with a sickle, he gets eaten by his own alligator at the end, so it's just kind of like you realize, like, holy crap, you know, obviously this is the way nature works. An alligator doesn't give a shit about its owner. You know, they're not pets. You have an alligator, you fall in the water, it's going to eat you. It doesn't matter if you're hillbilly buck, little girl, or the, or the owner with the crazy guy with a sickle. He's going to chomp you up. So he chomps up. Crazy guy with a sickle. That's what I'm calling him because I can't remember his name. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the film. Um, so you get the idea. I kind of almost went through too much detail. You know, I kind of talked about everything. But, you know, it's this guy. Crazy guy in the down deep self. In the bio, in the swamps. 
Um, and he's got a hotel. And anyone that goes there, he uh, hacks them up with this giant sickle, throws them in the water, and the alligator has a nice, tasty lunch. So, you know, it's a really enjoyable film. One thing, too, that I'll mention is um, the acting in this movie was very good, especially from the guy, crazy guy for sickle. He is just really good, his, his character. Now, I don't know exactly, there's no backstory, it doesn't explain who he was in the past, but I think he was some sort of, like, war veteran, because there is a scene where he's in this room, like, humming to himself, and you see, like, a, I noticed, a, a like, a Nazi German flag, and there's some other war memorabilia in the background, so I don't know if he was a Second World War vet or whatnot, but it's hard to say what his age is, probably in his 60s, so he could have been in the Second World War, given this was in the 70s, so... Um, but that being said, we'll quickly talk about the Hero video release here because the video is running a little longer than I wanted it to. This is the original artwork. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, you get a brand new 2K restoration. Um, introduction by Toby Hooper. Blood on the Bayou, a brand new um, interview with Hooper. Gator Bait, a brand new interview with Star. So there's lots of interviews. Um, the Legend of Joe Featurettes. Um, original theatrical trailers behind the scenes slideshow stills and so there's tons of you know special features there i'm not going to read them all to keep you busy but this one definitely is packed with the special features um now when we open it up it's a single disc oops um with just the blu-ray and here's the newly commissioned artwork i'm not a fan i think it's very plain and bland it's just like basically an alligator eye and some lady so the and the original artwork you know is one of the best things i've ever seen in my opinion so that's the Arrow video release, but yeah, if you're a fan of Toby Hooper films, like you like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this definitely has that kind of like low budget, um, just creepy, grimy feel to it. It's not as good as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in my opinion, but it's you know it's a completely different story. It's totally different, um, but it has that Toby Hooper uh, kind of feel to it to the movie. So if you've seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and you haven't seen Eaten Alive, then definitely check it out if you enjoyed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or if you're a fan of killer crocodile movies or whatnot, then definitely check this one out. Um, and if you haven't seen it, Arrow Video, this release is a great way. To, the Blu-ray looks fantastic. Um, and one quick fact, I believe I read that this entire film was filmed on a Hollywood set. So all the four scenes, the whole cabin, the swamp, it was all a Hollywood movie set. So that's really cool. And you can almost kind of tell because it's not filmed in a ton of different areas. It's just kind of in this one, you know, you see the bar, the whorehouse, and then this hotel. It's, and a bit of forest, that's basically it. So it's kind of all filmed on a set, which is neat. Um, but that's eaten alive. I don't know what else there is more that I can say it. It's a hotel. If you go there, you get eaten by an alligator. You get chopped up of a sickle, too, so not very fun. Um, but, no, I really did enjoy this film. It was fun. It wasn't fantastic, but it was not uh, even close to bad. It was very enjoyable and entertaining. Uh, keeps you on edge, kind of has a creepy atmosphere, and uh, it's just it's a very good horror movie, in my opinion. So that's uh, the 1977 movie by Toby Hooper, Eaten Alive, and the Arrow Video Blu-ray. So thank you for watching this, and we'll see you next time. And if you've seen Eaten Alive, you know, let me know what you think about it, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.